So we are in Hezekiah's tunnel. This is the tunnel that King Hezekiah dug, had dug, and it was in the time of the attack of the Assyrians led by the king San Fariv, who attacked many cities in Israel, in the land of Israel, and then came to Yerushalayim and laid siege to the city. And Hezekiah, anticipating the attack on Yerushalayim, knew that the spring, the Gihon Spring, which was the water source for Jerusalem, which is, was outside the city walls, on the eastern side of the slope, or on the eastern slope outside the city walls of Jerusalem, uh, knew that that spring, that that water source was vulnerable to attack by the Assyrians. So he had this tunnel built, which diverted, which led from the Gihon Spring into a point, or to a point within the city walls, called the Pool of Siloam, the Berichat Shiloach, which was just slightly 32 centimeters approximately lower in elevation than the spring itself, so the water was able to flow by gravity through this aqueduct. And in doing so, he was able to bring water into the city walls, within the city walls of Jerusalem, and uh, thereby provide a water source for Jerusalem during the siege of San Farid of the Assyrians. Now, it speaks about how there was a inscription found, and hopefully we'll get to the place of that inscription. I'm not sure exactly where it is, but we'll try to find it. That speaks about, this is one of the most, this tunnel and that inscription is one of the most important archaeological finds ever in the land of Israel. And the inscription speaks about how the workers dug from both sides, from the, on the east from the Gihon Spring, and on the west from the exit point, or the intended exit point of the Berechat Ashiloach, the Siloam Pool, and how they dug towards each other, and then when they got near each other, in the middle, they heard the wielding of the axes, each party heard the wielding of the axes from the other party, and they knew they were near, and then they were able to find each other's exact locations and make a hole that joined the, the two sides of the tunnel into one long tunnel. Now the inscription, uh, is the original inscription was here inside this tunnel but it's no longer here it was excavated and was found this tunnel was found during the time of the Ottoman Empire during the time of the Turks and therefore they took the inscription removed it from the tunnel and is now in the uh, National Museum I believe it's called of Istanbul in Turkey so if you're ever in Istanbul, you can go see the original inscription. And we're going to walk a little bit more. In the end, saint Fariv did not conquer Yerushalayim. Uh, his army was suddenly called away, shall we say. And uh, he left to go back to his hometown of Ninveh, and there's an inscription that was found, uh, written by saint Kharif, which speaks about how he conquered the various cities in Israel, but it doesn't say anything about him, his conquering Yerushalayim, Jerusalem. What it says is that he came to Jerusalem, to Yerushalayim, Jerusalem, and he had Hezekiah caged up or cornered like a bird in a cage. But it doesn't say anything in that inscription about his conquering of Yerushalayim, which implies that inscription uh, fortifies or reinforces 
the Tanakhic narrative, the biblical narrative, that he never did conquer Yerushalayim. So this is it, Hezekiah's tunnel. We're heading from the Gihon Spring towards the pool of Siloam, the Brechat Shiloach. And we'll be out soon. You can read about all of this in, I don't have my Tanakh with me right now, obviously I'm walking through the tunnel, if I'm not mistaken, it's 2 Kings chapter 18, it speaks about all of uh, the works, or all of this, the attack of Saint Aviv on Yerushalayim, and Chizkiyahu, Chizkiyahu's response and preparation, and then it's also in 2 Chronicles chapter 34, if I'm not mistaken, I may be wrong about that. Like I said, I'm not exactly walking around my Tanakh right now. You can check it out. And that's it. That's all I have to say. This has been Chacham Melech Ben Yaakov of the World Alliance of Karaim, broadcasting to you from Hezekiah's Tunnel, somewhere underneath the city of David, the city of David, the original city that was conquered by David, by the head of his army, or who became the head of his army, Yoav and Suya, by going up a water tunnel to bring his army up into the city and conquer it from the Jebusites. Thank you for joining me and speak to you soon.